What is up and welcome to the Sticky Art Channel. My name is Justin. So in this video, I'm gonna show how to make mandalas using Procreate on the iPad. So to do this, it's gonna be using the symmetry tool in Procreate. And to access that, we're gonna start off with a fresh canvas. I like to use something that's square. You can use either the square preset or you can make your own size in the custom canvases. So we're going to go right into the wrench tool, the actions, and go to drawing guide, then edit drawing guide. On the top there's a slider, you can change the actual drawing guide, the colors. So this guide is just kind of a reference, helps if you're using something that needs a grid. I'm going to change the 2D grid to symmetry. And then in the guide options, you want to change it from vertical to radial for the actual mandala. If you leave it on the vertical, if you have rotational turned on and the symmetry tool with the 2D, you're actually going to get kind of like a kitty corner effect where it's going to do the opposite corner. If you turn that off, what will happen is it'll create almost like a mirror-like image. Whatever you draw on the right side of the center line, draw on the left, and vice versa. So for the mandalas, you want to turn it over to radial. Turn both rotational symmetry and assisted drawing on, and hit done on the top right. Once you have these selected, you can go ahead and start drawing. So to create mandalas starting from the center, it's pretty easy to kind of just play around get a feel for what is gonna happen. It is a little unpredictable at first, but you can make some shapes, kind of like leaves and other shapes, really easy. So this tool is really great for creating simple as well as complex mandalas. And another really cool feature in this you can create a really complex image that is round and hold down and it'll create more of a fractal type image and you can keep the pen held down on the screen and pull in and out to resize it and also rotate. Once you're done, you can pull the pen up and it'll hold the image. One other cool feature inside of the symmetry tool is going to be the ability to actually create some colorable in lines. So I'm using a calligraphy tool that's a little bit wider, easier to close the gaps. So I'm just going to create kind of an original mandala kind of puzzle piece and then fill in the colors. And as you can see, when you fill in one side, it does it to all the other sides that are matching. I'll create some kind of a cool pattern. But then the other nice thing that you can also do is if you'd like to only color in one of the areas rather than have it fill in all of it for you, you can actually turn the feature off and then fill in colors like you would normally. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the symmetry and then go into the laters and turn off drawing assist as well. So once you have that turned on, you can fill in individual little cells. So this is a great fun tool to use. Uh, let me know if you guys have any other questions. I'll be creating some more tutorials in the near future. So check out my most recent videos for more Procreate tutorials as well as drawing tutorials. And make sure to check out some of my other videos as well. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, peace.